now if you compare this equation with this equation both this equations are similar here the variable is x here the variable is t so when we compare the numerator we get m minus 1 equal to 5 by 2 so m minus 1 is equal to 5 by 2 then m is nothing but 7 by 2 okay so we get m equal to 7 by 2 when we compare the denominator we will get m plus n equal to 6 so we get m plus n equal to 6 m is 7 by 2 plus n equal to 6 so n will be 6 minus 7 by 2 when we cross multiply 6 to the 12 minus 7 is 5 upon 2 so n is 5 upon 2 this equation is nothing but beta of m comma n so this equation is also beta of m comma n in our case m is 7 by 2 2 and n is 5 by 2 so this whole term is nothing but beta of 7 by 2 comma 5 by 2 so our i becomes 1 upon 2 beta of 7 by 2 comma 5 by 2 in this we are going to apply the formula of of in this we are going to use the relation between gamma beta and gamma function that is beta of m comma n is nothing but gamma of m into gamma of n upon gamma of m plus n so this become half into gamma of 7 by 2 into gamma of 5 by 2 upon gamma of 7 by 2 plus 5 by 2 7 by 2 plus 5 by 2 is nothing but 12 by 2 which is nothing but 6 so the so the denominator is gamma of 6 okay so we write half into what is gamma of 7 by 2 for these two terms we are going to use the formula that is gamma of n is nothing but n minus 1 into gamma of n minus 1 okay so gamma of 7 by 2 is nothing but n minus 1 n minus 1 is 7 by 2 minus 1 is nothing but 5 by 2 gamma of 5 by 2 5 by 2 into again here we are going to use the same formula gamma of 5 by 2 is nothing but n minus 1 into gamma of n minus 1 so 5 by 2 minus 1 is 3 by 2 into gamma of 3 by 2 again we are going to use the same formula gamma of 3 by 2 from this formula we get 3 minus 2 is half gamma of half so if we calculate this 5 into 3 is 15 2 into 2 into 2 is 8 and gamma of half is nothing but root pi so we get gamma of 7 by 2 as 15 by 8 into root pi what is gamma of 5 by 2 gamma of 5 by 2 from this equation is nothing but 3 by 2 so gamma of 5 by 2 is nothing but 3 by 2 into gamma of 3 by 2 gamma of 3 by 2 is nothing but half into gamma of half and gamma of half is root pi so it is nothing but 3 root pi by 4 so we get 3 root pi by 4 what is gamma of n gamma of n is nothing but n minus 1 factorial when n is greater than 0 and n is an integer so gamma of 6 will be nothing but 5 factorial so in the denominator we have 5 factorial okay so 5 factorial is nothing but 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 so instead of 5 factorial we will write 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 so this 3 and this 3 will get cancelled 5 ones are 5 5 threes are 15 and we get 3 root pi into root pi will be pi 8 into 2 is 16 4 into 4 is nothing but 16 and this 2 16 into 16 16 into 16 is nothing but 256 so 256 into 2 so we get 3 pi upon 512 so this is our final solution of this problem and this is how we solve the problem on beta function type 2 more such problems we will see in our next video so stay tuned for our future lectures